please welcome the man who could be in your house at any time, Liam Haddock. We are back for more destruction. Series 5 has been the quickest series to fill up so far, and who can blame them wanting to get the stuck into the action? Last series, two-time champ Smasher got smashed and led the new champion of Solar Flare to victory. So before we start the series, time to bring back the beast who will take any chance to destroy you. It's the House Robots. Matilda, our matriarch of mayhem, is ready with her titanium lifting thrusts and new rear-mounted vertical flywheel. Watch out, Matilda's about. The sinister dead metal is on the prowl and looking for any unsuspecting competitors to get to grips with, so they can slice through his serrated circular saw. Shunt is back with the diamond tip tack, snow plow and lifting boulder as a scoop. Being powerful enough to pull a fully loaded Land Rover, Shunt can more than throw his weight around. Sergeant Bash is once again on patrol and looking for new unruly competitors who can discipline with steel jaws and top mounted turreted flamethrower. Ten hut! The Knight of the Round Table, Sir Killalot, has prepared himself to disembowel his spinning lance and cut through even the toughest armor with the jaws of life on the other arm. Sir Killalot will not be kind to any of our rowdy competitors. When they come out to play, stay out of their way. Before we get to the first battle, either way, Mad up there in the crow's nest, who have you got your eye on? Liam, looking at the heat, we have a strong collection of tough competitors all vying for the heat win. But they'll all have to batter and beat each other before they can lay claim to victory. Fight 1 sees robots fly as the champs solar flare fight fire with fire against flipping mad. After that we have the rookies Chuck taking on the returning threat of attitude chair. Then Sucre and doorknobs will look to wow the crowd in their fight. And lastly the unique looking I need higher hair tangles with the always troublesome Jabberwocky. From Melissa, and seeded number one, Solar Flare. The champions from last series, Solar Flare, return, and they claim to have made vast improvements. Improvements which they'll need to keep their hand on their title. But with their trusty front hinge flipper and controlling style, we'll see how long they can shine for. From Chris. Flipping Mad. Flipping Mad and newcomers to the wars will look very promising as they boast a solid two flipper that they did use to use one of the ultra robots and for a four wheel drive hill they could take a chance at such a challenge. Is stand by. Ready to show off her new bling is Matilda with the 27kg flywheel, which brings new levels of untold destruction to the arena. Our mean machine Shunt is ready to pummel every competitor who roves too close to his CPZ and even those who make sure to keep their distance. Our first seeds flipping, flipping mad, and flipping all the way into the next round. The 
champs marched on in fine style after dealing with the promising rookies flipping mad in short order. Next is Chuck, an attitude chair. From Neon Calypso, Attitude Chair. Returning veterans Attitude Chair are back after taking the fourth wars off. They come back to us for a revised design and new chair from its own place in history. Can the former top six finisher make another deep run? From 70, he picked up. Chuck. The newcomers Chuck may have a hungry veteran to deal with, but with the old Rupert Wars equalizer, the CO2 flipper, they can pick up and chuck any and all opponents they face. Can Chuck buck the odds in this first fight though? We'll have to wait and see. Robotis, stand by. Slicing and Dicing is our horrifying master of dissection, Dead Metal, the serrated circular saw and those two grabbing pincers to hold its prey in place. Coaching anybody who enters the arena, be they seasoned vet or aspiring rookie, Sergeant Bash has not seen a single competitor fit to be among his ranks. Three, two, one, activate. Chuck getting a slam dunk and into the next round. At two chair takes an early exit as Chuck advances with a beautiful flip to send the veterans home early. Next we have Suka and Doorknobs. From Vanilla Grape. Door knobs. Newcomers galore this series as Door Knobs makes it through a war's debut, bringing a massive spinning disc to the arena that could tear anyone to shreds. But with so many flippers running about, could it be time to knock on wood? From Shang. Super. Newcomers face off in round one as Skewer brings two weapons into the arena to hopefully give it an edge over its opponents, bringing a lifting arm and axe as well. They'll hope to overturn their opponents and put holes through the bottom plates. Robotis. Stand by. Matilda is back and she's one maiden you wouldn't want to waltz with, as the last person who did, never came back. The 
The mighty Sir Killalot stands ready to savage any of our competitors simply because he can. Who's going to stop him? Well, I'm certainly not going to tell him no. Would you? Three, two, one, activate. And the judges give it to Doorknobs, spinning in to the next round. Super got off to a strong start, but eventually in a war of attrition, it was Doorknobs who came out on top to advance. Final fight of round one is I Need Higher Hair and Jabberwocky. From Mr. Potts, I need higher hair. Bizarre debutante, I need higher hair and an electric lifter to give it more control over its opponents, which should allow it to push their opponents into any and all hazards of the arena, especially the house robots, who love being gifted the poor defenseless robots to feast on. From Nathan Silver. Jabberwocky. A returning revised threat for all needs as Jabberwocky has never failed to meet the heat final with its trusty lifter replaced by a flipper this time around, and its rear vertical disc being just as damaging. Could it be the third time to charm for this stalwart bot? The 
Simple Tees. Stand by. How many hits can you take from the diamond tic tac play of Shun? He'd be more than happy to help you find out. This borrow is dead metal, who's hungry for more carnage to be brought down on the hopeful Roboteers. Jabberwocky no longer jabbering, I need higher hair goes into the next round. Well, no he final showing for Jabberwocky this time as one dragon stick sees him in the pit and higher hair threw after a strong showing. Let's see how they match up in round two. Later on we'll see the impressive door knob stick on the determined higher hair, but first up it's our champion solar flare against the Wily Chuck. Rubotees, stand by. Matilda ready to overturn the overconfident competitors with her titanium lifting tusks so their soft and delicate underbellies are exposed. Night of the round table, so Kilowatt will look to get a closer look at what makes our competitors tick. 
after he's made sure they no longer kick his lance in the jaws of life. Solar Flare keeping on their streak and flipping robots out of the arena, they go into the Heat Final. Chuck ran out of luck as Solar Flare powers its way through to the Heat Final. We join Solar Flare of our next match between Doorknob and I Need Higher Hair. Robotis, stand by. How high will competitors fly and how much will they die as Matilda is back with a 27kg flywheel ready to spin up to speed and cause destruction. Can you outrun the grasp of this master of ambush as Dead Metal returns to the arena ready to shower the victory and the sparks from the deceased. I need higher hair, needs higher life. Doorknobs go into the heat final. 
A gutsy performance from Higher Hair got a similar outcome for doorknobs as they took their opponent apart to advance. Our heat final has two impressive robots as on one side we have the number one overall seed in our champion Solar Flare, taking on the destructive newcomers doorknobs. Before we get to the fight though, let's have a quick recap of how they made it this far. Well, Solar Flare has been no slouch as they started off with a rapid showcase of their pedigree as it quickly ooted Flipping Mad, and then after a bit of trouble sent Chuck and all its pluck sailing out of the arena. Doorknobs, meanwhile, has been on the warpath as it battered Suka into submission after a long drawn out affair, whilst after a series of scares they got to the wheels and retired I Need Higher Hair after a gutsy performance by the lifter. Robotis, stand by. The fierce and dead metal was back out in the arena looking for more unsuspecting victims to carve up and cut into. Brutal and brash, Shunt has power in spades to back up the praise we heap onto him. You'd have to be a fool to tangle with Shunt. Three, two, one, activate. Our first seed, Solar Flare, does it again and goes into the grand final. Who's going to join them? Find out next time. <laughs>